If 300 mics was a dinosaur, it would be called a mindfuckosaurus. For real though, you shouldn't be taking this dose if you're not at least relatively experienced with psychedelics. Now we're jumping into the deep end and you want to know how to swim. We're not just talking pretty colours anymore, I mean even at 200 mics it was already a potentially life changing spiritual experience. Now we're going up another level and this is where you can expect to have the reality you know and love whisked away from you. The good news is it's often replaced with an even better reality which is why at this dose you're set and setting could not be more important because you're going to be really suggestible to everything around you and even your own thoughts. For example, if you're listening to a song with lyrics, you might think the lyrics are talking to you or they're about you or they're actually a secret code that needs to be decrypted or the universe is going to end. You can expect to start going really deep into ego death, though it's not 100% guaranteed you're going to have one. This means that there will probably be points in your trip where you forget your name, where you are, who you are, that you even took a drug, or that you're even a human. In fact, I've personally had all of these things happen to me on 200 mics. The peak at this dose can be really intense. Beautiful colours are going to make up your entire vision. Everything you look at will be covered in layers of rainbows, patterns, fractals. Did I mention rainbows? I mean, at this point, the visuals are pretty indescribable. Even watching this sexy replication by my man symmetric vision over here is nothing compared to the real thing and the emotions that you can experience. I mean, sure, I can tell you that time might break and five minutes might feel like an hour, but actually experiencing that is a whole other realm. It's pretty hard to know what it feels like to see sounds or to touch colors or to be dumb enough to believe COVID is fake without experiencing that for yourself. There might be moments where you fear for your safety or you think you're gonna die. Relax, try to focus on your breath or maybe change up the music or even just have some water or a trip sitter to tell you everything's okay. Once you get past the peak, it will probably get much easier, but at this dose, I recommend having some trip killers just in case. The closed eye visuals can be absolutely mental. I wouldn't expect to stay in your body. It can feel like you just melt into the universe and you can create any reality you want out of your imagination. Imagination. Also, looping, that's a thing. It's very possible to get stuck in thought loops and spend half an hour having the same thought over and over again, but don't worry, this is normal, just enjoy the loop. Even if you don't loop, the archetype of a loop, or if things go in full circle, is usually there to some extent. On acid, I often have multiple thoughts or conversations with myself going on simultaneously. It can feel like a lot is happening all at once, and you may even have contradictory thoughts, which is probably a sign not to take your thoughts or anything for that matter too seriously. One of the things I love about acid is just how much your sense of humor skyrockets. Things will be so hilarious I can't even describe them here. You might realize the cosmic joke which is almost as much of a joke as my life is and side effects include laughing so hard you forget what you were laughing about. But that itself is really funny so now you're laughing more until you forget again and this continues until you tire yourself out. Or maybe you'll just laugh in a loop until the end of time. Ah, <sighs> good times. For real though, taking this dose, unless you're meeting Joe Rogan in the DMT realm every day, is a significant thing. And you should prepare so that you're not faced with having any sort of responsibilities because you will not be able to do most sober stuff. Some people might even find it difficult to walk. If you like acid as much as I do, then consider subscribing and hitting the like button. You'll get a new video about drugs every week and who doesn't love drugs? I mean, not me, YouTube. This was definitely all acting, but yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another rehearsal.